This is the quick update after stream 108. We have Bitcoin up first as usual. And it's just ever so slowly creeping up this four hour trend line that we have um, trying to edge our way closer once again to $25,200. But uh, it looks like, uh, you know, luck could be running out soon. Sandwiched in between the two uh, f moving average on the four hour, the 50 and the 200. Still above the four hour point of control. Um, and we see that on the daily just above a little bit of a, a high volume node. But uh, to me, it looks like we could be uh, could potentially be breaking down soon. Again, we see another high volume day with that wick on top. Okay, so that selling pressure coming in around about 24K is still present and still struggling to, uh, to break through. So once this trend line is properly broken, uh, you know, and, and, and probably more so want to be breaking that 50 moving average. We'll be heading down lower, eyeing up again. Our targets are going to be the B point, okay, the BAM of this bullish shark pattern, potential bullish shark pattern, which is the, uh, the heart line of the range. After that, we're looking at T1 of the, the bearish shark pattern, okay, this red W formation. You want to learn about harmonics? Links are down below. There we go, shill once again. Um, and uh, the 200 day moving average just below that that T1. So, you know, there's a, there's a, there are areas down below for opportunities for a bounce. Um, so starting with that heart line, that bam, um, maybe expect a little bit of a bounce there. Aiming for that T1, 20.3K. A little bit lower, just the other side of 20K, we have the 200 day moving average. Um, but uh, ultimately, you know, the, the ultimate downside target, we're looking at that, that bullish shark pattern with that 886 fib fan. That's our worst case scenario at the moment. And uh, based on how the other markets are behaving, um, you know, we could be hitting a couple of these targets fairly soon. Okay, uh, three day HSI and the uh, weekly HSI still got plenty of room to move to the downside. We're down below the 50 MA and the 200 of, um, uh, sorry, the weekly, yeah, the weekly 250 MA. And this in the first time that uh, Bitcoin has rejected the weekly 200 MA, um, I guess twice, two weeks in a row. Look at that. Um, and, uh, Okay, for some reason, yeah, it stops there. Oh, this is the Binance chart, okay. All right, so that goes way back. Check it on whatever. <laughs> Source, trust me, bro. All right, NASDAQ. I'm currently down 1.04% um, and falling, uh, trying to find a little bit of support at that 50 MA I, I, on the daily. I can't imagine why we would bounce here. Um, yes, we bounce a little bit the 200. Um, but I can't imagine the 50 is going to give us too much. At best, we may get a little bit of a bounce um, and maybe test this uh, little bit of old channel um, and that heart line as, res as resistance, that T1, that 12,000 area, potentially test that as resistance. That's kind of option one. That would be maybe best case scenario, especially if you're looking to um, uh, accumulate a few more shorts. Um, but, uh, you know, got the alert set ready to come into our, our um, sort of a potential um area of reversal i don't want to call it potential reversal zone because that's uh, prz that's going to confuse us with harmonics um so i want to call it like uh, i guess this is something i like to do quite often so potential um area of reversal i don't know par does that sound good anyway potential area of reversal where we have that uh, daily um point of control that t2 um, but aside from that, there's uh, really oh oh, and the completion of the bullish um, of a bullish bat pattern, which we have bammed. We're still coming down, so the alert is set. That's on the Nasdaq, but downside, uh, you know, if we don't find a bounce at this 50 MA, essentially we're gonna we're going to keep coming down here. Um, bearing in mind, we're already one percent down on the day, looking for another two move at least to trigger that uh, trigger that alert okay all right 
I want to make this a real quick update. SX200, uh, yeah, Wednesday trading session got a bit of a bounce. Got that daily bullish HSI already got a check back, but look at the wicks on top. Again, we talk about selling, uh, yeah, selling pressure. You know, we see it a lot here um, across uh, different assets at the moment. But uh, yeah, we sort of got a front run on that T1, that, that 382, that T1, and that that uh, essentially what is the uh, the demand line of the range. Okay, so we got a bit of a front run here. Wouldn't be surprised to uh, you know see us test that within the next uh, couple of days for sure. Natural gas. So natural gas got the bounce. We got the demand coming in. Very nice, promising demand coming back up towards that two dollars ninety one resistance. Um, looking to looking like we're slowly rounding off here. Um, so ideally, want to see uh, you know a little bit of a back test. What's up, Crypto Tiger? Good to see you, man. Uh, a little bit of a back test on declining volume. At least um, I'm alright with a you know a high low just to begin with. But um, I think we've spoke about this very recently. You know, even a 50% 382 retracement, 382 back to that point of control on the four hour. But I'd like to see some sort of a range here eventually um, form. If this is going to be some somewhat of a, a selling climax, I'd like to see, you know, a proper range forming, uh, you know, to begin some sort of accumulation phase. Because I feel like we've had so much selling, I don't see how this could possibly do a V-shape type reversal. Um, it's going to take some time. You know, we've seen how these, uh, I mean, nothing as drastic as what we have seen um, this year or, you know, I guess here is a good example. You see the extreme selling um, and we get a bit of a kind of like a re V shaped reversal, but it does. We do move sideways for quite a while. OK, and I feel like we could be seeing something like that at least till the end of the year, maybe a little bit of a move and a bit of sideways before maybe another move um, heading into like another winter. Okay, but natural gas, so far since we've uh, identified a very good area to buy, which was that trend line, we have had a very, very good move and I've profited from it. I hope you have too. US 10 years still moving to the upside. Um, you know, well surpassed that BAM there. Effectively back tested quite nicely and, and uh, you know, really confirmed that, uh, that, that breakout. Um, and we are now moving ever uh, faster or ever closer to 4.242%. Um, okay, a little bit of a way to go still. 5% um, of a move to go. But uh, yeah, really good. Um, still just showing good signs of continuation. There's nothing here that's um, really, really giving me much fear that we're going to get, uh, you know, it's going to stop anytime soon. And when we're overbought on the three day and the weekly um, HSI. Okay, we look at standard RSI, just barely overbought on the daily. In fact, not even overbought yet on the daily, just standard RSI. We do have bearish divergence um, potential on our MACD. Well, I guess it depends if you conclude that island, but from peak to peak, um, and same as RS, uh, RSI is just convergence. Uh, BBWP was bottomed out, believe it or not, was bottomed out on the daily. Wow, that's uh, sounds almost broken, right? Okay, three day. Yeah, nothing really going on the three day, so I, I'm I'm fairly. Um, yeah, fairly confident this thing could keep going um, and and that would give confidence to uh, to seeing you know the likes of the Nasdaq to continue falling um, and let's uh, oh very quickly the DXY yeah so a bit of a rejection off the top of our um, potential sell zone here um, and uh, you know a, a red day a little bit of a, a try to save it day on on Tuesday and then back down on Wednesday um, trading day and so far up 0.29 percent so a little bit of a stall kind of looks like maybe on a lower time frame could be uh, uh maybe not i was gonna say maybe a bull flag but it's not but you definitely got uh, a little bit of a maybe even looks better on the one hour 
Oh, I was hoping for some sort of channel. My, my eyes are deceiving me. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, I was hoping for some sort of channel here, actually, but uh, it doesn't look that way. Eh? But there is a little trend line there, so, I mean, that's something to sort of pay close attention to if we were to break that. I mean, pretty close to a... Very close to a channel. Or not. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. My eyes are deceiving me on this uh, tired day. <laughs> All right, this is supposed to be a quick update video. Ready at 10 minutes. All right, let's move on. Yeah, so Dixie looking like uh, we could be potentially breaking out to the upside very soon. Uh, so far, good promising move. We saw that buying pressure coming in um, at the you know at the end of the Wednesday trading day. Um, and gold and silver. We'll finish off on gold and silver. So um, of course, uh, Dixie moving up. Uh, we're no surprise that gold is seeing a bit of selling pressure here. Um, this is the three-day chart still eyeing up that uh, 1767 area. Um, that's the that that's that low end of the range. I'm eyeing up that area. Um, if we break that, then we we will be looking for that type two return of the bullish bet pattern. Okay, the green M shape pattern there. Um, and and silver. Um, back or well, almost back down below twenty dollars, trying to find support around about twenty dollars eighty. But um, you know, we, again, same as gold, seeing that selling pressure come in. Just so, despite that bounce, we still see that uh, you know quick sell off. So it's it's really just a would have been another opportunity to uh, enter in on some shorts. Um, as this looks like we are going to continue our move to the downside, providing that uh, the US 10 year and the DXY are, um, you know, continuing their moves. All right. So, yeah, there's your quick update for the day. Trade safe. And as always, get wrecked. <laughs>